And then I know you said uh, on Yom Al-Arafah, our, our fast means our bad deeds are wiped from the following year and the previous year. But in general, how do good deeds translate into the first 10 days of Arafah? What do good deeds like give us on the first 10 days of Arafah? Like what's the value of the good deeds? Right, right. Um, the va- um, you know, the the value of our good deeds um, in, in this time is that they're worth a lot more than they normally are. Because, you know, we can say the shahada anytime. You know, we can pray anytime. We can, you know, fast anytime. We can, uh, you know, give at any time. But, you know, during these particular 10 days, the first 10 days of Zil Hijjah, they are much more valuable. At one time, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that, مَا مِنْ أَيَّامٍ الْعَمَلُ الصَّالِحُ فِيهَا أَحَبُّ إِلَى اللَّهِ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْعَشَرِ There are no 10 days during the year wherein the what you do good, the good deeds that you do, are more valuable, more beloved to Allah than these 10 days. So the, the, uh, the good deeds that you do during these 10 days, they're the most beloved to Allah during these 10 days. And subhanAllah, when Allah loves, when Allah loves your deeds and Allah you know, love, uh, will love you for it, there are, subhanAllah, tremendous benefits to it. Like one time Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that, عَسَلَى, that when Allah loves his servant, he uses him. He uses him. So the Sahaba asked him, how does he use us? So Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam responded that he uses us by, by, you know, having us do good deeds right before we pass away. And we pass away doing something good. SubhanAllah. That's if you, if, if you do the things that Allah loves for us to do. And the famous hadith that all of you know, um, it's a long hadith, but just the basic summary of it as Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam pointed out that when Allah loves you, Allah calls out to Jibreel. <laughs> I mean, subhanAllah. I mean, imagine, he, this is the, la- the, the largest angel, the, the biggest angel, the leader of all the angels. Allah calls to him and says that, I love this person, so you should love him also. And, and Jibreel loves that person. Jibreel will love you. And when Jibreel loves you, then he calls out to all the angels, you know, all the angels in the heavens, he calls all of them, uh-huh, and on the earth. That Allah loves this person, so you should love this person. And all the angels in the heavens and the earth, they love that person. And then Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when that happens, Allah will place the acceptance for that person in the hearts of the people on earth. SubhanAllah. People will be nice to you just when they see you and they interact with you and, they, and, and so on. Those are the benefits of doing, you know, the, doing the things that Allah loves, that Allah loves you. And that's during the season, when you do these things, the, those are the most beloved acts to Allah, and Allah will love you for it. And there are tremendous benefits to that. Okay. Jazakallah. Khan.